This is a ball assisted lumbar decompression stretch and it's very easy to perform, can be quite effective at relieving joint tension and disc pressure, also helps stretch out the muscles in the lower back. So there's a couple versions of it, we're gonna go over both. So the first one, pretty simple, this is the first one you should try. So put the Swiss ball in front of you like so, and then you're trying to get the apex of the ball right into where your lower back is. So you're going to lean across and you can cross your arms over the front here. Now you want to stay nice and relaxed through the lower back and the hips. So get your feet nice and wide, knees nice and wide so you have some balance, but you're just relaxing the, the hips, the lower back, and you're letting the ball just press up into the lower back there. So you're getting support from the ball while it's stretching and decompressing this part of the back. So if you stay nice, relaxed, and try to feel the stretch in the lower back, you should feel a nice pull into that area. Now, if you feel like you can handle more of a stretch, you want to try getting more of a stretch in the area, what you can do is find a spot at home where you have something that you can grab onto that's nice and sturdy, so a real sturdy table or a couch or some sort of post or something at home. And what you're going to do is the same setup, set the ball up into the lower back area, keep your hips and lower back uh, nice and relaxed, and then you're going to reach up and you're going to pull yourself forward just enough to where your knees come off the ground and stay nice and relaxed. So it helps keep your feet nice and wide. Your toes are kind of giving you the balance points, but you want to stay nice and relaxed through the back. It takes some practice, but once you can really relax and let the back go, you can get a nice decompression stretch into the joints and the discs of the lower back. And hold this for about 30 seconds. So the only thing that's tensing right now are my arms. The arms are holding me forward while the rest of my body is pulling me this way. So we're using our body weight to go that way, using our arm force to pull us that way so we get a good stretch into the spine there. So 30 seconds. Then, because this is a deeper stretch to the joints, when you come out of the stretch, first just sit back on your knees for a little bit and sit there and just kind of wake up the muscles again, get them activated just for about five to 10 seconds or so before you go to standing. 